What's up YouTube? So today we're going to be talking about all of the equipment and cameras that I use when I'm shooting while I ride my Super 73. To start off, let's talk about this chin mount. So I'm going to try to have it on the screen here and I'm also going to have it linked in the description below. But uh, for the most part, a lot of the times when I shoot, I'm usually attaching one of my cameras on this chin mount right here. Um, it does a good job. It gets me different angles. Um, I also use insta360 x3 uh, and when i'm shooting this a lot of the times i'll get it mounted right right at the bottom here so it's going to be looking something like that um, sometimes i'll even use a gopro and uh, i'll just get it mounted right on here but uh, we'll take a deeper dive and i'll show you guys what i use okay so oftentimes uh, when i need something to just be clamped onto the bike I use uh, this clamp by uh, GoPro. I just attach a GoPro, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what that's called, an S mount, but I just use uh, one of their little mounts here and I attach it to, to this clamp. It's really good. It's a good way to get it uh, onto the handlebar. Does the trick pretty much. Uh, I usually install a GoPro or an Insta360 on here, but uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, for the cameras, I will use almost exclusively the Insta360 X3. Let me see if I could get a better video of it, but I'll uh, use the Insta360 X3. Um, this is usually mounted on my chin. Uh, every now and again, I might mount it on a GoPro chest mount. Um, it's pretty good. You just got to put one of those... Uh, I'm not too sure what they call them, but the thing that slides right in here, the clip, the GoPro clip, um, and I can put my GoPro on here. As you can see in some of the previous videos, I'll try to snip it on the screen there, but uh, that's using the GoPro chest mount. Um, with the Insta360, in order for me to get decent audio, I need to have the mic adapter. So um, you've got the GoPro mic adapter here. It does a pretty good job for what you need it to really do. Um, also for the microphone, I've got that connected in my helmet right now. I'm not gonna take it out because it was a real pain to put it back on, but um, I basically have a dead cat, so that's this fluffy thing in here. I've got the um, microphone inside and then I kinda got it tucked away on the side of my helmet. Um, and then I use this cable to connect with uh, the microphone, um, the mic adapter, here, which connects to the Insta360 X3, or I'll use that microphone to connect to um, this case for my GoPro, and it comes with a mic adapter right here, um, and I'll connect it right there. Uh, allows me to have decent audio. It's not a very expensive microphone that I got. Uh, I'm gonna link that on the screen as well. Um, cost me 20, 30 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. I'm gonna have it on the screen with the price, but, um, yeah, I mean, for, for, for me, it does the trick. I know you've got a lot of other options, such as um, the wireless or the Rode Go and the Rode Go 2 and the wireless Rode Goes. Um, I just picked up a fairly inexpensive, decent quality microphone, um, and, it, and it does the trick for me. Um, for the Insta360 X3, I also use uh, this Insta360 X3 to GoPro adapter. So this right here kind of screws into the bottom of this Insta360. And uh, then you have this little, then you have this little Allen key that comes with it and it just allows you to really tighten it in there. Um, that way this thing can connect to any and all of my GoPro mounts. Makes life a little easier. I like that Insta360 is very universal with it because it has uh, the regular thread. Um, I have the GoPro, I think it's the Hero 5 Black. It doesn't even say, um, I'm fairly certain it is the Hero GoPro, uh, I'm sorry, the GoPro Hero 5 Black. Um, not the highest end, not nearly the latest. I find that it does the trick. The Insta360 X3 gives me the stabilization. This is just some good B-roll footage. Uh, I have used this for an entire ride before. 
it is shaky, it doesn't have the stabilization like all the new ones, new cameras does, new camera have, but uh, it does the trick for me. I mean, it's, it's good. Um, I'll also link uh, the SD cards that I use for both of these cameras. I believe I got the 256 gig. I've got about three, four of them. You wanna always have SD cards so you can shoot it and, and store it on. I also have an external hard drive. Um, I don't have that with me. I keep that in the office, but yeah, I have an external hard drive. I think it's a three terabyte hard drive. So um, whenever my memory cards get full, I store everything on there, keep it for, um, just for my pleasure sometimes, uh, and sometimes I might use some of that footage. Um, but yeah, let's move on. So for the GoPro, I need, um, because it's the older GoPro, it doesn't have the mounts at the bottom like the newer ones do. So you need to have um, the casing. You basically just put the GoPro in here. You've got the mount there and you can connect it to everything. Um, however, for the time being, whenever I'm recording audio, I do keep it on this, on, on this case rather than this case. This allows me to get the mic output. This has to connect into the USB-C right here and the mic um, adapter will go, I'm sorry, the, the mic outlet or the microphone jack will go right here. All right, let's move on. Uh, the next one, next thing that I use is the uh, handlebar mount from Insta360 X3. So it does use uh, this carbon fiber this carbon fiber stick, uh, you connect the X3 to here, um, and it uses this mount to connect onto the handlebar. Um, moving forward, I am gonna be using this mount because I can detach this stick, and I can use this mount on the handlebar for my GoPro for some B-roll rather than always having to lug um, this clamp around. Um, so I might start using this, but yeah. So um, I'll show some footage on how, uh, how it looks when I use uh, this on the screen. But that's pretty much it. This is from Insta360. Uh, the next thing that I use for some of the mounts, uh, I'm sorry, for some of my shots, is this motorcycle mount from Insta360 X3. Um, you just get this to clamp onto uh, one of the bars. You could put it on your uh, the front of the bike, the side of the bike, the back of the bike. Um, it's a ball joint. You can loosen it here, and then you have the ability to move this thing around, and you also have the ability to move this thing around. Um, whenever I use this, I oftentimes will associate or will um, add this invisible selfie stick from Insta360 X3 to it. Uh, allows me to give me a bit more range or, or distance from the bike. Um, and uh, yeah, that gets me some cool shots. I'll try to have uh, some footage on the screen of how it looks. The next thing, um, obviously, is uh, the Insta360 selfie stick. I use this, uh, I'll have some footage on the screen as well, but uh, I use this quite often. I find this comes in quite handy uh, to get some cool shots. Uh, another thing that I use is uh, the Insta360 tripod. Um, you can use this with any camera that has the adapter, but yeah. Um, and this tripod is pretty, it's pretty cool. It extends which is pretty cool. Um, it gives it a little bit more stabilization if you're shooting outside and you have, say for example, um, this thing attached to this, uh, it does work. Uh, yeah, but uh, for the most part, that is most of the gear that I use. Um, the most important from them are the ones that I shoot with. That's gonna be the Insta360 and the GoPro Hero 5 Black. Um, all of my shots come from there. Right now, what I'm using to shoot um, is my iPhone. I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max and then I'm using a Gorillapod as a tripod for it. Um, <clears throat> I think it's the Joby Gorillapod. It is the Joby. I'm gonna see if I can show that to you guys right now. And uh, that is uh, the tripod that I use um, from Joby. Uh, it's a pretty good tripod. It gets most of what I need done done. You know, it's not too big. It's fairly robust. It gets the job done for the most part. It gives you uh, a couple of uh, different pivot points. So this one right here will allow this to move forward and backwards. Um, this right here allows you to choose it uh, in regular shooting mode, but you can also move it. Um, to... So wait, this is regular, no portrait. And then this is landscape mode. So uh, I find that I usually use this whenever I'm shooting 
certain things. I don't use this on the bike too often. It's just intros, talking parts, etc. Um, but yeah, that is uh, the full the full shebang. And of course, I uh, don't want to forget to, to have uh, the one, the only, the mask for the Mass 73. This uh, chin strap I find comes in very handy. I prefer using this than using, uh, you know, a chest mount. But that's just subjective. They both give their own angles and they both look pretty good. Uh, and yeah, I think that is uh, all of the camera gear and uh, stuff that I use when I shoot my videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Give it a like, give it a subscribe. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this content, it means a lot. And uh, hopefully uh, once the weather gets a little better, I should have some more videos out there. Fingers crossed. On that note, wish you guys a good one.